Hey guys and welcome back to another flight report and today we are flying from here Stockholm Arlanda to London Gatwick and this time we are flying with Norwegian operated by Norwegian Air International and the operating aircraft is a Boeing 737-800 with winglets and the registration this time is EIFJX so it's Foxtrot Julia X-Ray taking us back home this, this afternoon so um, this aircraft is built in October 2016, so it's not a new member to the fleet, but it is quite young in the age. So the aircraft, the age of the aircraft is quite young, as it's only about a year and eight months old. So it is. And by the way, this aircraft is equipped with a Sky Interior cabin. So we are lucky again, it's equipped with a new Sky Interior cabin, the one with the new seats. Just like the 737 Max is on Norwegian. Just like the last time we flew on Norwegian, it's exactly like that. And uh, flight number is D8257 and flight time should be just around two hours and our seat for today's flight is 19A so we are by the wing and I'm going to be boarding from the back of the aircraft okay so by the way um, um, I will be explaining more details about the flight so I have to board now all right, so this is the moment that you've all been waiting for. We're boarding. How exciting. Let's go down the steps. Let's be extra careful. The weather's quite hot, actually. And I can't wait to go on this plane. It's new as well. This plane just came from Gatwick and we'll be flying back. You can see this aircraft's equipped with carbon bricks. Hey, what's up? Yeah. Right, so, and it does have the new cabin, the new seats. Well. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Hang on. Seat 20, sorry, 19, 19A here. Seat for the next two hours. Hang on. <laughs> sorry guys. So it does have the new cabin. October 2016 built aircraft. There's something about the sky interior, look. I'll put this down and put it down. It's cool, isn't it? I can't even open it. Jesus Christ. I'll just put it back to normal. It's all perfectly fine now. Let's go in. The aircraft's got new smell as well. There we are, it's a decent wing view here at seat 19A, seat for the next couple of hours. Spanking state of the art new aircraft. By the way, let's see how much the legroom is. Decent amount of legroom for two hour flights, all good, and a good seat design. You've got, an, uh, you've got your Norwegian in-flight magazine, which is called N-by Norwegian safety card, looks a bit dirty, and your air sickness bag. And this is what it looks like, obviously. <laughs> it's 
so it looks really nice. Excellent. So we have more time to read this as well. I like the tray table by the way. Legroom good, seat pocket. Good. And let's just put the seat here in front of us. It doesn't make the legroom any better. Well actually, I'm gonna place it in the lockers. So we're here at gate 19. And this is the back of my seat, and it looks good. So thumbs up for this sky interior cabin. And I will see you during pushback. We have a great wing view here. And a lovely cabin, beautiful sky interior cabin. It's got new air conditioning sounds as well. So, yeah, I will see you then. <clears throat> All right, so time for pushback. And let's go. And the engine's starting. So we are almost ready for departure. Right, so this is our engine starting, the engine on the left. So all engines are on. And there we have uh, Terminal 4 with SAS 737s and an ATR. That's Terminal 4. By the way, I am sorry for the late upload of the last video because I've been quite busy. But I'll, um, you know, in the future I'll try to upload my videos slightly earlier so you can all watch it and enjoy it before it's too late. Okay, so the flaps are being ex extended for takeoff. And I think it's flaps, um, looks like flaps 15 to me. 10 or 15, well, I'm kind of guessing it. And um, so this is obviously Terminal 4 with one Norwegian and mostly with SAS aircraft here, with SAS's. And um, here is Terminal 3 and over there followed by Terminal 2 with KLM 737-800 from Amsterdam and British Airways 767 from London Heathrow. So. He's at Terminal 2. 
By the way, I wish I was on that 767. Well, never mind. Just decided to take a break from BA and then try Norwegian one more time as well. That's yeah, a British show, it's 767 at Arlanda. It's a shame to see these retiring in the next few months. And I'm being replaced by A320s and A319s and A321s and probably the A320neos as well, if they're lucky. So that British Airways has come all the way from Heathrow. Look at them Rolls-Royce engines, it's quite rare on the 767. British Airways has them and you can mostly find the Rolls-Royce, these kind of engines on some 5.7s and you know. And these are RB211s which I found on the 76, 75s and 747s. Some are 747s as well but most 757s. So that's, uh, I think I see Turkish Airlines coming into land from Istanbul, Ataturk. <clears throat> I'm sorry if it's going to be a long taxi. <clears throat> well, it's not my fault, so don't blame on me yet. Yeah. So I think you can see Terminal 5 over there again. And this is Terminal 2. So Terminals 2 and 5 are used for international flights and Terminals 3 and 4 are used for domestic flights. But Terminal 5 is the busiest of all of them and the less... Okay guys, so we're now halfway through the flight and guess where we're flying over? Gothenburg. We're flying over Gothenburg, so we have another hour and a half to go, I think. And over there, I can see uh, Gothenburg Land Better Airport. official now so I'm gonna go for burger in case I want to have a meal this afternoon Brownie, well, real bowl. I'm gonna go ahead and use my 
own water bottle. And um, once again, great view of the cabin. And I will show you the toilet like, after this. We'll show you what if the toilet's new or old. So yeah, so let's eat an afternoon snack with great views over the wherever sea it is, North Sea, let's call it, with the North Sea and uh, uh, and flying over Denmark. Let's enjoy great views over Denmark. You can see a little bit of De you can see a little bit of the Danish coast over there. So let's enjoy it. And I will see you. When we're in the toilet, just um, we'll show you what the toilet bathroom on this plane looks like. Okay, guys, so this is the toilet of Foxtrot Julia X ray. So it does have a new toilet, it does. And uh, it's got four mirrors one, two, three, four mirrors here. And uh, obviously, you've got your toilet bowl here, and you've got your vomiting bag and your flush button. That scared me. Anyways, this is your toilet bowl, and this is your sink. It does look a little bit small, but I think it looks perfectly fine to me. I actually love the Boeing 737's new toilet. They have exactly the same toilet on the 737 Max, I think, yeah, they do. So you've got your soap here, you've got your sink, whatever basin here, you've got your ashtray here, and yeah, so guys, I will see you during when we are descending into London Gatwick. Bye for now. Okay guys, so we're now descending into London Gatwick and it's been a good flight so far, it's been a very good flight so far from Stockholm and um, yeah, the seatbelt sign has just been switched on by the captain, so I think we should be landing in about the next uh, 10 to 15 minutes time, hopefully. So we really aren't that far, by the way, over there. Like it, so we're now flying over East Sussex, which we are. And um, so we are flying over Britain now, so we are flying over the UK. Welcome everyone to the United Kingdom. It's been a really good flight, and we're now just, I think, making a left, oh sorry, making a right turn. So far, really proud of Norwegian. And I think over there, in the distance, you can see something. Is it Brighton or something? No, it ain't Brighton. No, I can't see Brighton. Amsterdam, 
it also flies from Paris, Barcelona, Rome, London, Stockholm, Copenhagen and Oslo and um, hasn't had a chance to fly from Helsinki yet. But I'm hoping that it will in the future because Norwegian doesn't operate long haul from Helsinki, you know that. And Norwegian also has 737 MAX and flies from Edinburgh, Dublin, Belfast and uh, also uh, Bergen in Norway and it's really a shame that they cannot have those flights from Gatwick to the smaller airports in the USA. And this flight is a Norwegian Air International and the aircraft belongs to Norwegian Air International. The registration is EIFJX once again, built in October 2016, so it's not a new member to the fleet but it is quite young. As you can hear, it also does have the new air conditioning sounds. And the toilet was brand new as well. And for those of you guys who didn't know what my next flight report will be, my next flight report will be on the 30th of June, and I will be going from London, yeah, I need to tell you something first, so first I will be, no, so now I'm coming hopefully to now to stay in the UK forever for good, and it's, uh, now I've finished my stay in Sweden until summer, and then what I'll be doing is that I will be Thirtieth of June, I'll be flying to Minneapolis, St. Paul, in America. So first, I will be flying to Reykjavik, Keflavik, with Iceland Air, where I will have a one-hour layover, and from there, I will be flying to Minneapolis. So I'll be flying from Gatwick on the thirtieth of June, and I will be returning on the eleventh, departing Minneapolis on the eleventh, and arriving back here in Gatwick on the twelfth. So it will be Iceland Air and all four aircraft will be a Boeing 757-200. So really not too long left now, I think another 10 to 15 minutes until landing. I think we might just have to stay on hold for a little bit because of uh, the busy runway here at Gatwick. There's no doubt about it, so I think we will have to. I'm not sure, maybe not, because you know, Gatwick only has one runaway, and Orlando has three runaways, which two of them can be used at the same time. But Gatwick, I think it also is planning to construct a second runaway, and Heathrow is probably planning to construct a third runaway as well with a Terminal 6, which is quite likely, but I'm not sure. I think they will. The upcoming years, I hope they do, because that this will reduce traffic in Heathrow, and then the aircraft don't have to stay on hold and have to keep on turning around in the air. Nothing unusual at Heathrow and Gatwick, but Stansted and Luton aren't as busy as Heathrow and Gatwick. Gatwick only has one row, so I think air aircraft have to queue up a lot there. I think Gatwick really does need a second runaway. Gatwick cannot survive with only one runway. So, we're almost there. It's been an amazing flight. And another look at the cabin. Brand new as well. And Sky interior cabin as well. Really nice. Thumbs up, Norwegian. Thank you, Norwegian. It's a shame we can't get on Ryanair. It's not that simple getting it on Ryanair, but it is on Norwegian because on Ryanair it is quite hard to get Sky Touring cabin. But once the 737 MAX centers, then it can be easier from the upcoming years, hopefully. But I might, in either July or August, I might be, might be flying on Ryanair to either Gothenburg or Oslo. But I don't know yet, I will announce it in another news video. So you guys know all about that. So I'll see you in a bit. Right guys, so we're almost there. And by the way, in-flight spoilers are out. I love this feeling. So it reduced to help. It reduces, helps to reduce the aircraft.
aircraft's speed, if it doesn't slow down properly, it kind of stabilizes the aircraft. And, oh yeah, they're down now, and the flaps are being extended before landing. It's either going to be a flaps 30 or 40 on this landing. I don't know how much reverse. aircraft does have the SFP package, meaning that it has better landing performance than the non-SFP 737s. So it has increased spoiler deflection, which this aircraft does have up on landing. I mean, when it touches down. So the spoilers are wrong, so that's why they automatically just come up. But for takeoff, they're disarmed, the spoilers. I think it's flaps 10 or 15 now. And so this landing is probably going to be flaps 30. Or either idle or full reverse. I wouldn't say full. We mistaken. It's mistaken for full reverse, but many people just call it. Uh, wait, is that an airport over there? I wonder what airport it is. I've always been wondering what airport that is. Oh yeah, I, I think I know. I think it's uh, an airport in Kent. I think it's Kent Manston Airport. It's not an airport, I think it's just an airfield now. Iran Air used to refuel there for a very, very short period of time when flying from London to Tehran. So first I flew from Heathrow to Kent. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's really Kent, Manston Airport, whatever airfield. It doesn't have a terminal. been wondering what airport that is. Well, I don't know which one it is because, you know, and I will tell you guys on a news video, maybe, I don't know, maybe my Iceland Air Flight Report. landing in any minute in about I think there's like two minutes left until landing or even less oh landing gear the wheels are coming out and it's being and right now and right now it's flaps 25 so now we're going to find out the exciting bit it might be 30 Oh, it's being set. Are you ready to see what one it is? Oh yeah guys, now it's flaps 30. So I don't think it's going to be a hard braking. It is flaps 30. So we are in the UK now, so... Are you all ready? So, very happy to be back here after a three week stay in Sweden. So, I'm ready for landing. The passengers are, and the crew is, and the aircraft is. But, are you ready for landing? So, I can even start to see animals here on the fields. for landing. We're now getting to the exciting bit. As 
our BA and EasyJet. So are you ready? Yep. Good touchdown. And full reverse. Hard braking. It was a little bit here for just one second. Finally, so welcome everyone to London Gatwick Airport and we will be arriving at South Terminal. So finally landed after a two hour flight, which really, really is a quite a short flight. So finally landed back in the UK, thank God. And thank you to Norwegian. Finally arrived and it was a flaps 30 landing. Seen a bit, guys. Okay, so we're just now finding our parking position. Be careful and open the bed lockers as items may have moved during the flight. Please remember to check for your personal blinds and smoke is not permitted. As a member of Norwegian, finally arrived, and that's the Norwegian 737. Don't know what it's doing there. Start on your way to free flights. Please visit NorwegianAward.com. Once again, and over there you can see the North Terminal plus a WestJet 737 all the way from Canada. And by the way, it's 737 Max. I can't believe I'm seeing a 737 Max here by WestJet Gatwick. I think it's probably coming from like somewhere in Canada, Toronto, I don't know, Calgary, Edmonton, wherever. That's the North Terminal over there, so we will be flying from that terminal when we fly on Iceland Air on the 30th of June, so... I think like around three weeks left until that. And this is the South Terminal. Over there you have a 2E787 with easy jets. And this is gate 27. Gate 28, 24, 22. You have a British Airways there at gate 20. Then another one at gate 16. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank God we finally landed in the UK. This is an A319 by the way, and that's an A319 as well. I can't see a Ryanair here yet, but we might do very soon. As that's a Norwegian EIFHT, and this is British Airways A320. So I think we're gonna be parked on some random gate here. I think we're going to be parked on gate 10 or something. I'm not sure, maybe. And this is Sky Tier 2, but with the old seats. And here, guys, we are going to be parked on gate 10. So we're parked on gate 10 at London Gatwick Airport's South Terminal. So we're coming to a stop. There we are, almost there, almost there. There we are, finally. So there we are. Welcome everyone to London Gatwick Airport's South Terminal. And it's been a really, really nice flight from Stockholm Islander Airport. And I really do appreciate you guys watching my videos. And Norwegian's been a great airline so far. And thank you very much for watching this video. I am very happy you guys joined. And please do stay tuned for more videos in the future. Especially, please, I hope you're all looking forward to the Iceland Air video on the 30th of June from Gatwick to Keflavik first on FI 471 and from Keflavik to Minneapolis on FI 659 on Boeing 757-200.
from the North Terminal at Gatwick Airport. So yeah, so if you like my YouTube videos, please do like, comment and subscribe and I also will be there for you if you have any questions. Please don't suffer in silence, I'm always there for you. Then I'll be at your service if you answer any questions. So, yeah, so all looking forward to the Iceland Air video. Yeah, I know you all are. So, yeah, so thank you very much for watching once again. And it's been a pleasant, very good flight on board this sky interior. Thank you, Foxtrot Juliet X ray, for bringing us here to Gatwick. And hopefully, we will see you on the Iceland Air flight. So, anything else I wanted to say? Uh, please do like my posts on YouTube as well. And videos, please do comment. Like and comment in my videos as well. So, yeah, so finally around here at London Gatwick. And I'm going to be probably talking to the captain for a little while and then be going. Um, leaving the aircraft from the outside no no from like through that jet bridge and by the way this aircraft will be going by the way the hydraulics are off hydraulics are fuel pumps so we will be flying this aircraft will be flying back to Stockholm as flight D8285A and we'll be staying there for the night and we'll be coming here we'll be operating hopefully all day between Stockholm tomorrow this aircraft not me don't know after that so yeah, so that's it really so once again thank you and please do look forward to the Iceland Air video so yeah so that's all for now this is the end of the flight report so thank you very good much guys for watching and bye for now